Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, let's do some more fabulous low-cost crafting. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone. I am so glad that you are choosing to spend a portion of your day with me because today we are going to do something also oh economical, oh so fabulous, oh so posh. Some of you know I have been using the Dollar Tree three ring notebooks to do some crafting and today we're going to continue because I have yet another fabulous way that we can use these three ring notebooks. Now a lot of you left comments saying you don't have a Dollar Tree or you don't have access to a Dollar Tree and that is okay because I am sure that where you are, there are some three ring notebooks. And it's not necessary that you have the ones that are plastic coated. You can use whatever is available to you. But the beauty of a project such as this one is that you don't necessarily need to have what I'm using. You just need to have something similar. So here is what we're going to do with those binders. We are going to turn them into some of the sweetest, cutest gift bags out there. And not only are they cute and sweet, but they are so durable and they are water resistant. So let's say you had a water bottle that you wanted to put in one of your bags and it might be sweating. No problem because this bag is water resistant. So like so many other things that we use on this channel, we are going to take something that was meant for something else and turn it into what we need for it to be. We're going to make this size bag today, but we'll talk about this one in the video as well. All right, y'all, so here is a closer look at the bag that we're going to be making. Isn't this just so stinking cute? I know that you guys are going to love these just as much as I do. We are always looking for bag options on the channel, and here is another fabulous way that we can do it. Now, this bag, when finished, measures six and three quarters across, nine and a half inches tall, and it is two and a half inches wide. So there is plenty of space in this bag for all types of goodies. Then I added a little pocket to the front and I'll show you how that pocket came to be. And then I tucked in a little cut apart with some seam binding attached to it as my gift tag. And I think that this is just so sweet. And then we have this one. This one is four and a half across, nine inches tall and three and a half inches deep. So this one is a much deeper bag as you can see than this one but they both are perfect for any season, any reason, any gender. Here's how simple it is to make this. So I am going to bring in one of my little plastic notebooks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove that strip and then we're going to remove the metal hardware. But what I want to show you is I made a couple of mistakes in removing my hardware and I tore this. I also did the same thing on this one. I tore it. So this is what I'm using to make pockets. I definitely would not throw these out because there are so many other things that we can do with them. But here is the best way to remove this so that you don't do what I did. So just take it and put your hand right there in the middle and bring it up and you can see it's still intact. We'll do it on this side. So basically I'm just holding it like this and then I'm taking my thumb and I'm pressing down while I pull up to remove that. And the way that I caused it to tear is I was actually holding it here at the top and I was pulling. That was incorrect because that did result in the tear. So if you deconstruct it in the way that I showed you, you'll be fine. So once we have deconstructed this, it is actually about 21 and a half inches wide and it is 11 and a half inches tall. So we have plenty of working space. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard as well as my stylus. And so on one end of the long side, I am going to score at nine and a half. Then I'm going to rotate it to the opposite long side and score at nine and a half again. And just make sure that you're pressing down because this is a hard plastic. 
It's a very flexible plastic, but it's still hard. So then we're going to turn it to the 11 and a half inch side, and this is actually about 11 and 5 eighths. So we're going to turn it to the 11 and 5 eighths inch side, and we are going to score at two and a half as far as we can go. Then we'll flip it to the opposite end, and we'll score at two and a half until we meet that original two and a half inch score. And then we'll flip it to the opposite end and we're going to score at two and a half. And then we'll flip it and score at two and a half again until we get the two to meet. And now, just like with any project that we score, we are going to fold and burnish those scores. So once we have all of our scores folded and burnished, we are going to go right into these tabs and release them. So I'm going up to the score mark and cutting straight down. I'll go up to the score mark and cut straight down. Then I'm going to cut right beneath that deconstruction point. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And so then I'm going to bring my trimmer in and on one end, we're going to place it in at one and a quarter and trim. So we did that here. We're going to do it over here. So I'll flip this and I'm just going to place it in at one and a quarter, move that out of the way and trim. And while I have my scoreboard trimmer combo out, I'm going to take the other end, put it in, and we're going to score at one and a quarter all the way down. That's because we want to create just a natural way for this bag to fold. So I'll do the same thing over here. Score at one and a quarter. And so this is what your project piece should look like. You should have your center tabs cut out. This is how we'll put it together. And then you're going to have these tabs here, which are basically our glue flaps. We'll be using tape. And then you'll have the longer side here that will join to everything. So I am going to bring in my tape and I'm going to take the ends that we trimmed down to one and a quarter. And I'm going to place tape from the top to the bottom. Then I'll just trim that away. And then I'll fold in my little tab and I'm going to place tape right there as well. And then I'm going to take this piece and this time I'm going to take the tape and we'll place it on the inside. And then we're also going to take a small piece of tape and place it right there on the inside. So your tape pieces are going to look like this. You'll have the tape on the outside here, a small piece of tape on the inside there, tape on the outside there, and tape on the inside here. We're going to rotate it to this side and we'll do the same thing so on the end where we made the score at one and a quarter, we're simply going to add a strip of tape to the inside. Then we'll fold this in and we'll add a strip of tape 
I'll probably add a little bit more tape here in just a minute and I'll show you that part. Then we're going to take a small strip of tape, put it right there. And guys, you can try whatever adhesive you want to try on a project like this. I found that my glue did not work, but my tape did. So I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to add the tape to this piece. And I'm going to use my big old spatula to go over all of this and get it nice and stuck. So now we're pretty much ready to put it together, but I want to make sure that I have total tape coverage here. So I am going to peel away this piece and I'm going to add just a little more tape because I don't want this sticking up inside of the box. And let's do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to remove that piece. I'll take my tape. And I'll peel away that backer sheet. And now we're ready to put it together. So easy peasy put together. We're going to start joining to this. So we're going to remove this piece. We're going to take this piece and we're just going to match it right there. We'll do the same thing on this side. So I am just going to remove that tape backer. We're going to take this piece and match it. And so now I'll lay it on its side and I'm going to go inside with my bone folder and get that part nice and stuck. So now we can peel away that tape backer from this piece as well as from this piece. And when you're putting it together, you're going to want to make sure that you're putting it together so that the tops are nice and aligned. And I'll go on the inside again with my bone folder because we want to make sure that everything is nice and stuck on our sweet little bag. And you can see that it is. So we'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to peel away this tape. We'll peel away the tape from the inside. Take our piece. We're going to make sure that we're getting it stuck. And then once we have the tops matching, we can guide everything down and nice and stuck. But it all starts with making sure that your top is aligned. So I am going to use my bone folder, go on the inside and see that we have a bag that is nice and stuck completely. And now when we take these side pieces and we pinch in where we made that score mark, we have a bag. Now, because this was a rounded notebook, the bottom might have a little poof to it. But if you just take this and pinch, all the way around, you can start to get rid of that poofiness and then just keep doing it until your bag is sitting the way that you want. And so there is our bag. That's how easy it is to make this. So I don't want to attach handles to my bag. I am going to use my oval punch and this punch is about two and a half inches wide. And I got this punch from Tuesday morning quite a while ago. So. If you're looking for punches, just find one that you think is going to work, whether you find it online or in one of the big box stores. You can even check Craigslist, eBay. A lot of times people are selling used craft supplies that are still in very good condition. So we're going to place it in just like that. And I'll punch. And then we'll flip it over. And I'll punch. So now I have my two 
little handles punch. So I have a bag that's ready to carry. But of course, we're not going to stop there. We need to decorate just a little bit. And this time I'm going to use some of that notebook that I actually messed up. And I'm going to trim away the non-damaged portion. And now I'm going to trim a piece that is five and a half by four. And I am going to score on the five and a half inch side at one, rotate it to the four inch side, score at one, and rotate it to the five and a half inch side and score at one. Then I'll fold and burnish my scores. And then I'm just going to remove these two corner pieces. So I'll angle in just a little and I'll angle in there. Do the same thing here. And now I'm just going to take my tape and we are going to place tape on those score marks. This is truly an easy peasy way to make a little pocket for the outside of our bag. And so now we're just going to peel away the tape backer, take these two pieces, and fold them over onto that tape. And that's our little pocket right there. So now I'm going to peel away the tape backers here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tape right there because I want to make sure that I don't have any area that doesn't have tape on it. And so now I can take this and this time I'm going to stick it on this side of my bag. Now I'll lay it down, go on the inside, get that stuck. And isn't that pocket just sweet? Now I have this awesome little cut apart that's going to serve as my tag. I am going to take my Crocodile Big Bite I have it set on my 3 16th inch setting. I'm just going to punch a little hole, take some of that crinkle seam binding that I have just absolutely fallen in love with, and I'm going to put it through that hole. And this just gives me a cute little tag that I can write on front and back. I can tuck that in that pocket and then I'm going to take one of my little burlap flowers, add some glue to the back. I'll take this flower. We're going to stick it right there. And that, my lovely friends, is how simple it is to take one of those Dollar Tree three ring note binders or any three ring notebook that you have and turn it into a gift bag. You might not have a gift bag handy when you need one, but you probably have things in your home that you can take apart and turn into a bag. And that's exactly what we've done here. We've taken that notebook and we've turned it into what we need for it to be in the moment. So I am going to bring my others back in so that you can see all of this goodness. These are so stinking cute and so easy and simple to make. You don't need Dollar Tree notebooks. If you have three ring notebooks that are flexible and easy to work with, go ahead and use those because they will get the job done. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this awesome online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.